Hello everybody, this is Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com welcoming you back to 880 Jupiter Park Drive in Jupiter, Florida and we are checking out a game that was just traded in and this of course is from 2011 is Transformers this is the pro edition of Transformers designed by George Gomez and you can see they went all out with the um, the Autobots versus Decepticons so on the right side it's got a red flipper button with Ironhide, uh, Optimus, and Bumblebee, and I think that's one of the uh, one of the twins. I think that's either Ratchet or Mud that Ratchet or Mudflaps or you know one of the friggin' the racist Transformers. <laughs> and then on the uh, left side, you got some uh, some Megatron. I think that's uh, Starscream over there, and I have no idea who that is. It's very hard to tell with the. The movie designs were so awful, unless it was, like, one of the major characters. Like, uh, you can always tell who Bumblebee is and and Megatron. And I like how they, you know, you know, Megatron can't be a gun anymore, so he's a tank. But this is the pro model. Now, the pro, you can see how we're going back and how <laughs> 75 cents a game to, like, when we go up to X-Men Ellie. Now we're up to a dollar. And this was a game that... Um, they were going crazy with the QR codes. You would scan the QR codes, so we got a QR code there. There's four on the translite. Four QR codes. And then when you go down, there's QR codes here, there. There's an Autobot one and the Decepticon one on each side. So there's the Autobot one. It's got, got like Optimus Prime on it. But then there's one on the shooter rod. And then there's two on the door. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, those sites are down because they also have them for ACDC. And if the ACDC ones are down, considering ACDC was a more popular game that they kept running for years and years, the Transformers one's obviously down. So the Pro model, unfortunately, has a lot of the cool features and elements that were in the LE and the Pros, uh, the LEs and the Premiums, I should say, that were taken out of it. And uh, the Ellie's and, Ellie's and uh, Premiums were really cool. They had a, a dual one that was um, Optimus and Megatron on it. And then they also made the Ellie's had, um, they did a run of red ones for Autobots. And they did a purple cabinet for Decepticons with nice mirrored back glasses. So here's what they've changed on the Pro model to make, uh, make the little uh, cost cutting. And the first and foremost is Megatron. Now, on the Megatron for this version, he's always in tank mode. And they just put some, you know, LEDs on him. And the, here's the biggest problem right here, is that scoop shot. Now, in the limited and premiums, there's a drop target on there. And you have to hit the drop target to light the lock and then shoot in the scoop. On the Pro, you can just sit there and shoot the scoop all day, start that multi-ball. And it kind of makes it just really, really easy to do. And because of that, the scores in the game are very low. And it takes you forever to get a high score on this. The mega, the uh, the ramp here for the Decepticons up here on the Limited and Premium was a toy of Starscream. And he would move left and right. And he had a target in between his legs. And the only way you could score points on Starscream was actually shooting that target. If he hit one of the feet, it would just come back down and you would not get credit for it. It's a shame that it's not on there. It's just kind of like that, that little R thing. And I've seen people that have just taken the toys and put, um, put them back in the game. Um, Optimus Prime is pretty much the same as he is on the Limited and Premiums where this transform, this TF target lifts up and it's a ramp. So you have to shoot the ball and it bounces and smacks Optimus in the chest and you have to do that four times to either Optimus Prime Challenge or if you're a Decepticon, because yeah, there's two, two ways to play it, you do an Optimus Prime multi-ball. And over here, one of the big changes is for Ratchet. Now, Ratchet on the Limited and Premiums, there's a little baby mini play field that you shoot up and the ball goes inside and it just goes bing, 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 like that, and just bounces back and forth. Really doesn't do anything. I don't really care for it. I do like it better on the Pro, where it just loops, and you can just do the shot over and over again. 
and um, I think like the All Spark Cube has like a spin to it or something. And I think there was also a drop target added for the All Spark to get it. And the um, the Bumblebee Camaro is pretty much standard on all all the versions, and you just smack onto them, and you have to spell out Bumblebee, and you get the um, two ball multi ball uh, or uh, double scoring. And with this game, of course, you know Autobots and Decepticons. There's two different ways to play it. You can either do play it as an Autobot and play as a Decepticon. And you want to try to collect all of the all of those collect all robots for Battle of Cybertron. And then I guess you go up to Sentinel Prime and you have to fight him. So this is on version 1.8. They didn't really do a lot of uh, updates with this one. They did to do some, but it's been a while since we've played this. So let's set up the tripod. We're gonna play a game of Transformers Pro Edition here at the Pinball Dudes. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, sorry for uh, the glare overhead. There's nothing I can do for that. Uh, this will do uh, some Decepticons since we can... Oh. Now, unfortunately, no... Uh, no sound calls from any of the actors from the movie, so hoping that you know Peter Collin would have some. Let me get, let me get some uh, some call out. Oh, the voice! It, that, that's, that's my childhood right there. So many shows that he did. I've looked online, there's really no, uh, people haven't really done any mods to, like, add, like, the cartoon voices into it, you know, I would feel if it had, like, a, uh, like, Starstream's, uh, the late, great Chris Lotta, it was, uh, some, some of his, uh, some of his sound calls for him. I'm just so used to, uh, when I worked at the Busters playing the, uh, the Sega game. They're just like a really bad um, person that was trying to do uh, Star Screen. Soon our time will come. Be terminated. So just shoot the scoop all day on the Transformers. And the remains of the day. So on this one, the. Um, it just comes back out on the limited and premiums. It would actually hold all the pinballs inside of it. It's a four ball multi ball instead of a, uh, a three ball. We got three more remote start. And also, yeah, that's Shockwave. I keep forgetting this. I'm blanking on my Transformers knowledge. I'm a, I'm a bad fan. That was a terrible game. We'll do the Decepticons because I think you have to do um, Lush Shop Decepticons to start uh, Megatron's multi ball. Someone needs your voice, sounds good. they got now it's starting to ooh, even before like even some of the games that were like very basic they had some uh, good stuff to look at when you're not playing oh optimus lane is completed is there anything solid on this one? very off day for me this Saturday I go from winning our tournament that uh, we do every Wednesday or every other Wednesday. Got one going this uh this Wednesday too. I'm doing it two in a row. It's the Decepticons find the Allspark to use its power to transform Earth's Ooh. machine and build Can a I new use the Allspark to play better? Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know if they're. I gotta, next 
上来去了，谢谢大家。Super skill shot if you do a、uh, a short plunge. And unfortunately, as you can hear from the the video and the audio, there is no Shia LaBeouf. So if you want to let your dreams be dreams, just do it. No, no super skill. Before time began, there was the pure. Here's a little uh, little shout out to my man, one of my favorite sound waves. I was more of a fan, I, you know, going to the whole Transformers war of, you know, basically two different toy lines they just made in the one for us in America. I always loved the uh, the Transformers that were a lot more like real life objects, like, you know, Perceptor, which was looked like it was a camera, and uh, Soundwave being a little, little jam, little mini tape player. I always think back to, um, oh, there it is, show shot. I think back to the, uh, the listening to uh, an interview with CM Punk where he was talking to a kid. Um, CM Punk, the wrestler, is talking to a kid and uh, noticed he was a big Transformers fan. And I think it was before uh, Transformers 3. And he said, Oh man, I love Transformers. And the kid's like, Who's your favorite? And he goes, Soundwave. And, he goes, and the little kid didn't know who Soundwave was. And he goes, He's a tape player. And the kid's like, What's a tape player? That's a tape player. Nice. Oh. Alright, so we hit, we hit the uh, Megatron. We hit the light, light the jackpot. And it'd be nice if we can actually shoot some of the jackpot. Instead of just draining the goddamn ball every freaking time, we got a jackpot line. And I hit the. We gotta hit Megatron again. Double scoring. And it's worth nothing because I can't hit the friggin' Megatron scoop. There we go, now we got the back one. Yeah, they that they don't have, um... Finally got it. I tried looking online to see if there was uh, any folks in the community that have gone through and have done any um, any sound mods and stuff to it, like maybe added in some of the music from the from the '80s movie or some from uh, a little up there. Needs the touch. We all need the touch. I need to touch because I'm playing awful on this today. Oh my god. One of the best things recently, they did the uh, the 25th anniversary of the original Transformers movie. And they um, played it in theaters. And getting to see that in a theater 25 years later is absolutely amazing. I still remember... I was like one of the first movies that I really remember going to see as a kid, and all of the, um, the little kids, you know, we saw that movie, you know, not knowing what the hell was going to happen in it, and I guess that's supposed to be uh, Star Trek, but um, I still remember seeing. Um, little kids crying in the theater and this one one little boy was 
which is ordered was inconsolable and the mom had to take him out of the theater after they killed off Optimus Prime. I mean, they didn't even make it to the junk plant. The little poor kid was just sitting there, just falling and crying because he had no idea what the hell was going on. <laughs> like, he didn't think, like, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna come see your favorite characters on the big screen and, oh yeah, they're gonna kill all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a movie, a movie with balls. But I just remember as a kid hating the movie, you know, like growing up. And I think that was like a big catalyst for a lot of us who stopped watching, uh, who stopped with Transformers. Like I, I totally didn't even know that they they brought Optimus Prime back in um, some of the later episodes. <laughs> I mean, I like it now where they have it where, you know, okay, just, they could have just made him another car. <laughs> they, I, you know, even though it's like one of the absolute worst Transformers that you'll ever watch, but I did like, um, I did like the idea of uh, in Transformers Armada as um, Optimus Prime as a fire truck. I thought that was a really cool idea. That's all, all you need is a little bit. I mean, he's still red. He could still have the cab on him. So now we got the. Together, they form an alliance with the human. But this they one needs. Yeah, you got to. You got to hit the hell out of the to get it started. I get out of here. I want to have some games. Ooh, that was terrible. Yeah, skids and mud flips give you fast scoring. So those were some absolutely terrible games of Transformers. But that's a look at uh, how it plays. Still fast. Looks like uh, the previous owner kept good care of it. Maybe just didn't play it a lot. We don't know. So, guys, thank you very much and gals for watching this video. Here from the Pinball Dudes. And that's a look at Transformers Robots in Disguise. Once again, I am Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.